one third of their diet is lobsters. So you're telling me they're cannibals? Yes. The stimulus for the lobster to grow is that it feels uncomfortable. Life can make us feel pretty stuck at times. Like the things we used to love, we now sort of heavily dislike. And that can push us to the edge. And that's the moment we realize we're trapped in a shell. That's slowly deteriorating. But we somehow keep it together until it all falls apart. Lobsters are oceanic bottom feeders that seemingly show no similarities to us humans. But as it turns out, lobsters process pain and emotion and share 98% of our DNA. With all this, maybe there's something to learn by not judging a lobster by its shell. Over time, a lobster's shell gets too small to contain all of its hopes, ambitions, and dreams. Or maybe just its insights. So the lobster is then presented with a choice. Shed its old, small shell and grow a new, bigger one, or keep the old one and die. In the old days, they just pick these things up by hand. And the way the lobster knows it's time to shed its shell is it feels the pressure building inside every single day. This one is probably about five years old. It's probably molted about uh, 15, 16 times. Oh. In other words, they outgrow their shell. Once they outgrow it, this section will open up. They'll extract themselves from the shell, eat the shell for the nutrients that are in it, and then go hide underneath a rock for the next two to three weeks. And just like the lobster, there may be moments in our own life when we feel like we need to shed our own shells for whatever reason. And during that process, we just strip ourselves down to the core elements and rebuild back from there. And hopefully we come back bigger, stronger, and better than ever before. You know, just like the lobster. So does the lobster contain the secret to human existence as we know it? I don't know, maybe, but it probably wouldn't hurt to shed our own shells every once in a while. See what happens. Just don't forget the most important part, to eat your own shell on the way out before you dive back in to the depths of the ocean. Hey, I'm Tanner. Thanks for watching my video. Um, be sure to check out some of my other videos where we talk about all sorts of things like chairs and Captain D's and all that fun stuff. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.